Welcome back. Another fortnight has passed, which means we have a free rotation or a new rotation of free assets on Unreal Engine's Fab Marketplace. So to get these assets, you can either go to your web browser, browser and type in fab.com or you can go to your uh, Epic Games Launcher and go to the Fab uh, category over here. It will open up the same page. Here under limited time free, we have three assets available for us this time around as always. And you can get these for free uh, within the next 14 days. You have the, the date when it expires in the top here. As long as you get them within this period, you get them for free. If you miss this period, you'll have to purchase them for the full price. So this time around, we get a Diesel Punk Kit Bash 3D asset pack. We get a Dwarven City Modular pack over here. And we get a LED light generator pack over here. So these are the three asset packs. To get these, what you need to do is you need to click on them one at a time and you add them to cart. Before adding them to cart, you choose a license. You have a personal one and a professional one. There's no difference in between how you can use the asset with the different licenses. The only thing is that it applies to different companies or persons. So to be sure that you're covered by this, make sure that you have a professional one. It is the more broad coverage uh, when it comes to the people that purchase it. So picking this one, it doesn't make a difference for you. Both of them are free. So this one is the best one to choose. Other than that, you don't get anything more or it doesn't cover anything more in, as in the terms of making use of the asset itself. Uh, after you've added them to cart, you just press buy now and then you check it out like any other purchase. Uh, online. Anyway, let's take a closer look at the assets that we have this time around. First out, we have the LED light generator. So this is the sample map where we have a bunch of different signs that display a bunch of different, well, animated materials essentially of uh, emissive natures, uh, showing off a little bit of what you can sort of achieve with uh, this project. So what this in essence consists of is a bunch of different materials and textures that you can go in and you can manipulate and just change them up if you want to so here we have a material instance for example of one of the signs and we have then a master material that have set up a bunch of different parameters that you can alter so you can change the, the visuals inside of here but uh, that's not the main purpose of this project. This project is meant to be a sort of dynamic generator where it gives you a little bit more freedom than just manipulating things through the materials. Uh, so what you can do is if you go to the page of the, the asset, in this case the LED light generator, you can go down to the description. You can see that it has a it requires the substance plugin link. And clicking on that you can then uh, get to this part of an asset and you can install the plugin for the version that you're intending to use this in Unreal Engine. And then once you are inside of Unreal Engine, you can go into your plugins and you can then type in substance and then activate the plugin. And once you do that, you get access to the, the asset files that are substance graphs. And the substance graphs are in this case we have one called T LED uh, LED01. This corresponds to this 75 number uh, signs over here, and these are param parameteri parameterized. You can adjust the parameters on it. <clears throat> so what you have here is, is essentially a bunch of different parameters that you can change to change what the content of this should be. So if you wanted to have you know, 75, you have wanted to have 70. You can easily change that uh, just by having the, the, the text changed. You can change the types of fonts, the sizes, the positions, uh, all kinds of parameters to like adjust what kind of a visual that you want to have. You can uh, change some of the behaviors and uh, panel types and how rough or metallic they're supposed to be. Things that uh, are partly run through the material, you can just, you have more control over it inside the here. And you can also uh, randomize uh, parts if you want to do that as well, so you have some freedom. But yeah, so this is essentially what you could call sort of a 
Material Editor Plus for this project when it comes to specifically creating uh, something that's a LED sign kind of uh, effect. So yeah, that, that's essentially what you can do with this first project. And since I forgot to mention it, this is created by Summer Art. Next up, we have Diesel Punk by Kitbash 3D. And in case you're not aware, Kitbash 3D is sort of like a big site that sells these large asset packs of certain uh, themes. So in this case, it's Diesel Punk. They also have fantasies and sci-fi and all kinds of different things like that. Uh, they have a bunch of very high quality assets in their packs generally. Um, and the issue that they have when it comes to Unreal Engine assets is that they don't provide a, a level overview or a level demonstration map. So essentially all you get when it comes to projects like this is you have uh, these actors. They're all placed together here. You can see we don't have a level folder. So you just have a bunch of different actors and these are all their high quality assets that they have. And what I have essentially done here just to demonstrate some of the different actors, blueprints, kit bashes, or what you want to say, um, is essentially drag them out into this level just to have you be able to view some of them so you can get some sense of scope. So all of these buildings here that you see here are uh, from that kit bash asset, but not the stuff in the background here. That's that's the next asset we're going to be checking. So for now we're checking out of these so high tech buildings in comparison to what's behind. So you can see there's a bunch of different uh, structures both large and small, well, small, I guess, relative term. And they have really a lot of different uh, set pieces in this. So here you can see the, the, the smaller pieces are, are here and, and there's a lot. There's so many signs and bridges and pipes and walls and all kinds of different knickknacks to populate a uh, diesel punk kind of environment. So you really do get a lot here and that's uh, part of what the reason for they're having a fairly high price point when it comes to assets. So this is the second time around I believe that we have gotten a kit bash 3D kind of asset on Unreal Engine. Uh, so that's nice and that's appreciated because as I say and as you can see you usually get a fair amount of assets and they are of nice quality as well. Anyway, moving on, from here we have the Dwarven City, it's a modular environment, so this is made by Scale Z, and uh, this is what the, the asset overview level looks like. So you can see here that we have a bunch of different assets here, not, not that many in comparison to the previous one, of course, but uh, uh, still a fair amount. You can see that they, they afford you a bunch of flexibility when it comes to creating a environment anyway because there are a bunch of small variations here and there on the different parts so you can uh, get away from it not feeling too uh, similar uh, over large uh, maps and to demonstrate this we can go to the level uh, the demonstration level for this asset pack of the dwarf city where they have created what is in my opinion one of the more uh, epic looking example maps, which is really nice. So what we have here is this large chamber uh, where we can see the architecture of the assets being made, uh, put into use here. And uh, let's just do the following. Let's just go in this direction over here. So going in this direction here, we are actually leaving this underground complex. So you can see that we have a fairly large environment built out for us here until we finally get out from these dwarven halls and out into what is the open outside where we have this sort of archway portal kind of uh, structure as well. So yeah, th this is a big map and they have made it look quite epic. So zooming back in again a little bit faster, you can see that you, you can build up something that looks quite epic and quite nice with this asset pack. And it's a uh, small amount of assets uh, relatively speaking, is not much of a limiting factor because when it comes to Dwarven architecture as we know from 
fiction, they tend to have a fairly uh, continuous and congruent uh, shape and form. So if there's some repetition, you won't notice it too much, I believe. But yeah, so they, they have built a quite nice little example map here for you to fly around with and look and see what you can actually create. And yeah, that's it. Those are the three assets we get this time around. Uh, actually was kind of impressed both, both uh, actually all three of them in different ways. The Dwarven City was nicer than I expected it to be thanks to the nice demonstration map. Uh, Diesel Punk uh, asset pack was very nice because it has a large variety of very high quality uh, asset buildings and small knickknacks around it. And the LED light generator was actually quite interesting as well, in my opinion. So overall, I thought that the three assets we got this time around was nice, were nice. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. As always, keep on learning. Take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos, or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.